hello you welcome to my channel this is the stitch fashion school if you are just joining us for the first time please subscribe so that the subsequent episodes that will be coming out you will get them and this episode two we just did episode one hope you watch it and i want to thank all of you that subscribe for the channel so that you will get the other ones that will be coming in I'm so grateful. So let's get to business. Today we're going to be talking about flay skirt. Like I said in the last episode, we're going to cut flay skirt today. And the very first thing you do when you want to cut a skirt or whichever, any dress at all you want to cut is to sketch first. When you sketch, your next step is to take down the measurement. So let's go and sketch the flay skirt we're going to be doing today. So, how do we sketch? I'm not an expert, please, I'm just a designer. So, but I have an idea what I want to sew, so I'm going to sketch how I will be able to understand it. And you too might be a better artist more than me, so let's do something. I'll just give you an idea how to start, those of you that don't even have an idea how to draw at all. So, when you want to draw your flay skirt, you start with the band. You make a curve another one bring down this one bring down this one now we come here you can draw a curve. You can use a pencil and draw a curve first so that you have an idea what you're going to be doing. Draw a curve. So when you draw a curve, you follow the curve, give it space, give it space, then off here, off here, off here. Now that I've drawn this, I can remove this line. What's a guideline? So you can join this place.
in this place that you went in So you make a sketch for your play skirts. I'm going to be adding zip by the side. I indicate this is what we call band. Cats. So, and this is the waistline, and this is the length, the whole of the length. And what we require, the measurements we require is waist and skirt length. Now, when we are if you want to take a measurement, we advise you just abbreviate. And what we abbreviate with just indicates this indicates this waist as W and skirt length S K L. Abbreviate so that when you're taking down your measurement, you don't need to take, you don't need to just measure everything. Uh, you don't need to write all the letters you just quickly jot down your abbreviated uh, letters so so you could be faster i'm not an expert but at least when you see this you have an idea what i want to make everybody anybody that sees this will understand that okay this is a place sketch so i know some of you might even be a better draw a better artist more than me so now that we have done this we have to take down the measurements of this class of this uh flay sorry of this flay we have to take the measurement what we require is just waist and skirt length so let's go take the measurements you have to use your tape to get the waist of your skirts this is how you measure yourself exactly where you wear your skirts you make it very tight what do I have here I have 34 and a half. To take the measurement of the skirt length, you just place it on where you're going to be wearing the skirt. Take it down, hold it, bend down. I want the skirt to be a little bit on my knee, so I'm going to take 23 as my measurements. So this is the fabric we are going to be working with. This is denim materials, or you call it jeans fabric. I'm going to be working with. Always use the bad face to the back face to um, make your dress, so that if there's any stain, it won't stain your fabric. So um, we're going to be cutting our skirts, our flay skirts, and I'm going to fold this fabric. The length of this fabric is actually 57, and uh, the length of my skirt is 23. So I'm going to add 5 to my skirts, 
for just allowance when I'm going to cut. So whatever I cut away, I'll get my 23 out of it. Now, this is 57. I fold it into two. And I'll get my 28 from there. I'll further fold this into two again. That means into four places. So let's take the measurement of this place. We have to get 28 too, like the other one. I'm setting the fabric to 28. So it has to be like a square shape. So now that I have my 28, now I look at my waist. My waist is 34. And half, and um, thirty-four and half. So you will divide twenty thirty-four and half by four because my fabric is actually four into four. One, two, three, four. So I have to divide my my waist into four places because we're cutting from here to here but we're cutting uh when we fold the fabric we're cutting the front is already folded into two and the back is already folded into two that makes it four so when you divide 34 into or 34 and a half into four you will get you can start by dividing it into two first that's the easiest way to get it on the tip. You first of all get 17 quarter. And then when you get 17 quarter, and you further divide 17 quarter in two. Just look at it. First of all, divide 34 and a half by two. You get 17 quarter. That is it here. 17 quarter. And then you further divide 17 quarter by 2. Now, half of 17 is actually 8 and half. Look at 8 here. And look at your half here. Look at your half here. This longer line. And then half of this 8 and half. Half of this quarter here that you have at the 17 is now 1 8. So you now have... Eight and a half, one over eight here. Look at it. So immediately after this half, the first line, like I told you in the last class, that each of these tiny lines represents one over eight. So that's what we're going to use as our measurements here. So we're going to put our eight and a half one eight we're going to look at where we're going to where we can you just place your tip somehow here okay? and see where you can get it you just try to place it and see where you can get it just mark it and mark it So if you measure one of these places and see what it is, you can measure here 
this actually five i can start working with this five like i said that's the five i even added and i'll start curving start curving following it while my tape is on the triangle points i'll be just moving it, marking my five inch. This chalk is a little bit, um, not visible enough I have to get the chalk that is visible so that you'll be able to see it from the because this chalk is actually very close to the color so you see what I'm doing I hope you can see it okay now I got that. I will measure it again to make sure that I got the accurate measurement of my eight and a half one by eight. Make sure I get it. Now, if you measure this and you find out that it's actually more than or less than, you have to add up or you remove. So, however, you know this if it's too much it's not much again it's just remaining like about two lines for it to be complete but you see the whole of this place the whole of this side this place is is adding up all these places is adding up so you better leave it that way or else it might even expand that's how flay does flay actually expand so you will not have to you will not increase it because it's just about quarter for it to be enough and i know by the time i open it it will even be more than this waist so what do you do from there you now take it down you now start measuring your length which you wanted to Since um, is a is a flay skirt, if you notice, I'm not going to add seam allowance for the length because it's a flay skirt. If it's a short skirt, I'll add seam allowance. But because when you are wearing a short, uh, a, a fitted skirt, I mean, it will shrink. Somehow it will shrink on your body, and some of the allowances will fold, and it will not be exact the exact length which you expected but in this one i'm not going to add seam allowance because by the time i add the band the band is going to even increase the length of the skirt so what i'm going to do here i'm, go I'm going to take the exact measurement of my flay skirt that's 23 so see what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be moving my tape little by little to make a curve So um, now cut my skirts.
if your fabric is too hard you can separate and cut to first before you cut the main one so you go faster and you won't break the scissors please always cut outside this outside your lines so that you won't cut extra if your fabric counts So this is a full flay skirt that I have cut. A full flay skirt, no opening in the place. But I'm going to still open the side. If you notice, I did not add. Um, I did not add. Um, I did not add seam uh, zip allowance. Because let's measure the waist of our skirt, so you will see what I was talking about. This is um, the skirt that we cut. I told you it was remaining just small, and I cut it. Let's measure it. You see. What I was talking about. This is now folded into two. We are measuring it to see if we have a 13 and a half. I mean a 17 quarter. Remember that it was 13. It was actually um 34 and a half. So now we have you can see we even have more than eight. We actually have almost 17 and a half here. That's what I was telling you about flay. When you're making your flay, you have to be very careful because it actually expands. This is your skirt. This is the full flay skirt that we drew on the diagram. As you can see, it has some lines because it's full flay. It's full flay skirt. You can see it. So, what I'm going to do now is that I will just, I can choose any part now to cut. I can decide to choose any part because of the zip, the, same, the zip allowance. And uh, all you need to do by the side, just slit your zip allowance. Just slit it. Just tear it open. That's eight inches. I just measured one side. That's the side. So this is our skirt that we just uh, cut for today. We just made our uh, cut our flay skirts. Uh, in the next episode, we'll be joining this flay skirt. It's so nice. It's so it's going to be very. I'm just imagining it already. It's so nice. I hope you enjoy the class. If you enjoy the class, the only way you will prove it to me is to subscribe and share and invite other people to come and join because you can't be having this all alone. And if you really enjoy it again, make sure you log in again so that you'll be able to watch us put together the sketch. We're going to sew it on the machine and you see how you're going to sew it. It's so simple too. As simple as it is to cut it. That's how it's simple to make it on the machine. So please... Don't forget. Thank you. Bye.